Weekdays with Bernie segment tonight. As usual, the presidential candidates are gravitating towards soft venues. This is the, the most serious question of all. Honey, boo-boo, or Snooky? <laughs> Do you know who either of these two uh, yeah, is? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of a Snooky fan. I mean, she... <laughs> Look, now. look, I mean, look how tiny she's gotten. She's lost weight and yeah. she's uh, energetic. I mean, just her spark plug personality is kind of fun. Also, President Obama on the Letterman program last night. Dennis Miller will analyze that in a moment. But joining us now from North Carolina, the purveyor of BernardGoldberg.com, Mr. Goldberg. So, to, look, I, I understand I'm mid Romney's trying to humanize himself by doing this stuff. But, I, you know, I've been on these shows shows that, that ask me dopey questions about stuff. Right. I simply don't answer them. I simply think, what, are you kidding me? And I'm just a TV guy. I, I, I just would you know, say, you know, boo-boo, snooky, and it's just, yeah, I, 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 I got to save the economy. I'm sorry, you know? I'm, I'm with you. I'm totally with you on this. Look, I, we both understand why politicians go on entertainment shows, because there are people out there who don't watch news shows, and they do watch entertainment shows. And it's a way, you know, to to get to them. Yeah. But but talking about Snooky and Boob, I mean, this is like this would be like Yogi Berra lecturing at Harvard about art in the Ming Dynasty in China. I mean, Yogi doesn't know jack about that, and Mitt Romney really doesn't know jack about Snooky and Boob. To his credit. And, and it, to his credit. Well, to, yes, that's to his credit. But when he comes off making believe he does, yeah. what does that say? I don't you know. Maybe, here we, maybe, here maybe. we go again. I'm going to pander to the audience. I'm going to say yeah, what I'm supposed to say. Maybe he does watch for comic relief a little bit of that reality garbage. I don't Are know. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I don't know, Goldberg. He I might. Know. I it's do possible. Not. I, no, it isn't. It's impossible. <laughs> The, if, if he's watching Snooky and Boo Boo, you, you think he's watching the Jersey Shore? Come on. I know, maybe maybe he tripped and fell when it was on. I don't know. That's, that's okay. possible. Now, you disagree with Morris. Morris doesn't think the 47% uh, comment uh, is going to hurt uh, the governor, but you do. Well, it isn't just my friend Dick Morris. It, there are a number of political commentators on the right, uh, on TV and, and on radio, who say that not only is Mitt Romney going to win, but he's going to win big, you know, like between five and eight points. A lot of them say that. Dick Morris isn't the only one. And I've got one of two possibilities here. Either they are political Einsteins, they're geniuses, or they're certifiably nuts. And I'm not sure which one it is, but I'll tell you this. I don't have nearly, not nearly the confidence that, that they have on how this is going to turn out. I hope, I want to say this. I hope they're right that Romney wins big, but I don't have nearly the confidence in that. Why, why do you hope they're right? I mean, what is it? Uh, you're not a particularly ideological guy in the sense that, um, I, I, let, me, let me try to rephrase it for the audience who does it, because I've known Goldberg far too long. <laughs> you're not a guy who made your career on ideology. You made your career right. on journalism. You're, you're a reporter, okay? But That's you got correct. fed up in the system at CBS with the blatant bias to the left, and you, you went out and you went after them. But you went after them as a reporter. That's how you did it. And you said, look, this is what they're doing, and I can back it up. And then because you did that, you went from being a journalist to a commentator. All right? But you're not a guy who forever has been a, a Republican right-wing guy and, and rooting for right. a certain ideology. So what is it about Barack Obama very precisely that Bernard Goldberg objects to. First, let me say thank you for that description because every syllable of what you said is exactly right. But so you wrote you that, for that for me. I, I read that right off the prompter. <laughs> that's, that's right. Did, re, now read the part that says, Bernie, I can't live without you. You're yeah, just great. I, we, we edited okay. that out. You know, it was like okay. boo-boo no, and, and you know, some things are not right. believable. No, but, but here's the answer to your question. All right. I simply don't think Barack Obama is a good president. I think he's a very good politician. I think he's a better politician than Mitt Romney. I think he's uh, a better candidate than Mitt Romney. But, I, but, but Barack Obama is the kind of person who could look you in the eye and with a straight face say, I want to unify this nation after he has spent months and months and months pitting Americans against each other based on how much money they have, telling us that there's a war on women 
and having his vice president strongly suggest that Republicans are racists because they're going to put black people, in quotes, back in chains. I don't admire that. And, I, and in terms of just plain old confi uh, uh, confidence, I mean, he may, he may or may not be a nice guy. And anytime I say he's a nice guy, I get tons of email saying he's not a nice guy. But the point is, he is not a competent president. That's my take. And on you're basing it. that he, assessment on the economy? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mostly the economy. He has made, the Wall Street Journal has a brilliant editorial today. And the gist of it is that he has made way too many Americans dependent on government by collecting unemployment checks, by collecting food stamp money, and by collecting Social Security disability. He has turned America much too dependent on government, and that's the way I think he wants it, and I don't like that. All right. Ernie Goldberg, everybody, when we come right back, it will be Miller time.